Hello everybody, this is me, Sam the Blue Tech Guy, back with another video here. We got the Fire Stick unboxed. That's right, so if you've seen the unboxing video, if not, you can go back and check it out. In this video, I am going to show you one of the uh, most wonderful features, specifically if you're visually impaired, and that is the accessibility options on the Fire Stick. So this second generation Fire Stick does have some accessibility options. I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to show you how to turn it on. All right. Well, okay, so here is the Amazon Fire Stick, and here it is turned on, as you can see. I got it right here on my menus. Now, for my visually impaired viewers or uh, blind, if you cannot see anything, uh, my camera is facing my TV screen right now. It is currently at the home screen. Now, when accessibility is turned on, it actually has a green highlighted square right here that highlights the option that you're at right now, currently. So, um, as I begin to navigate with the D-pad on the remote, it will begin to speak what's on the screen. So, let's do that right now. Your videos, three of seven. Movies, four of seven. TV shows. Apps. Six settings, seven of seven. Okay. So it will do that. And, of course, you know, for all the other accessibilities, if I type in a letter, it'll say the letter. Well, it did. It didn't say at that time. What was it? A, B, C, D, okay. Delta. So you got that. It'll even give the font. Search, one of seven. Home. So I go down right here. Vikings on history, one of six. Recent. Here's Lucy. Your apps and games. Netflix. Amazon. Prime Photo. Sponsored. Top rated TV. If you give a mouse. SpongeBob Square. Daniel Tiger's name. Featured apps and game. Your channels. From okay, so now home. here's what I'm going to show you here. And if Fine. I if if I Amazon leave. Channels. Okay. Top when you select when you select something. Prime photos. If you leave it on that selection for a few seconds, it will read the synopsis. I'll show you that right now. Amazon channels recommended this week on Fire TV. Amazon original series this week on Netflix. But NBC. But the CW on Fire TV. Amazon original series. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Season 1. Prime. Button. Watch. Now if I leave it there, it will be The begin Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. 5.0 out of 5 stars from 11,068 customers. IMDb rating 9.0 out of 10. 2017 rated TVMA. Closed captioning available. Season 1. In 1958 New York, Mitch Meisel's life is on track husband, kids, and elegant Yom Kippur dinners in their Upper West Side apartment. But when her life... Now, if you want to stop the narration... Time, she has to quickly... You press this, the, the play pause button right there, and that stops the narration. Okay, so, right, you got it. It's all nice. It's pretty, right? So how do you set it up? Well, we're going to move on to the next clip, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. It's not that difficult. Okay, so what I have done now is I have gone back and turned it off. So as you can see, there is no more green square, for those of you who can see the screen. Uh... And it's not talking anymore, so I'm going to show you how to turn that back on. So we're going to make a selection with the shiny circle, and we're going to look for a setting called... We're going to go back into settings, and we are at settings right there. Let me get it really close. Let me see if I can block out the... Okay, right there. We are at settings. Okay. What we want to do is we want to go over to down here. We're going to highlight down here. The first selection is notifications, which looks like a bell. You have Wi-Fi, which looks like these squiggly lines. And then we have uh, display sounds. Then we have applications. And then we have controllers and Bluetooth devices. Okay, then we have Alexa. And then we have uh, preferences. Then we have device. And then right here, we want to go into accessibility, which looks like the little man with his arms pointing out, like that. So you get that right there. And that says accessibility. That's what we want to go into. So going into that, now we get our menu. We get our menu right here. 
and the options option number one is closed caption option number two is voice view option number three is screen magnifier option number four is high contrast there are four options in this menu so we're gonna go on down to option number two uh, with the remote we're gonna select the down and just click down once you're if you do that you'll be on voice view so we're gonna click voice view now it goes to this one single option. So now we're in the voice view menu, which only has one option right there, as you can see, for my low vision viewers. Gonna get really close, right there. And the only option is to turn it, well it says off, because it's already turned off. So the other option would be to turn it on. So we're gonna, once again, make your selection with the middle center button in the remote. Voice view ready, voice view screen reader, voice view on, one of seven. So voice view is now on. Use and, up and down to move and between you, items. Provide spoken feedback as you navigate items on the screen. Okay, so yeah, I will go ahead and let her finish. So the first option in the voice view menu, looks like that. Okay, so yeah, it's like that. And the first option, now you have the green square that highlights each option. Okay, so the first option is voice view. The options from here you have controlling the speed. So you want it, it's at 1% by default. Uh, you can make it faster or even slower. And then we have speech volume. Right now it's set to 40% of device volume. Then we have sounds volume. And it's set to 40% by default as well. So those are other options that you can, you know, to kind of customize the voice view screen. So it is now on, but just to turn it on and get it going, that's all you have to do. The other options are optional. Option number one is the only thing you have to do. Everything else is optional. You can leave it like that if you want. So now we're going to hit the home button on the remote control, which is on the first row of small buttons under the D-pad, and it's the second button. Okay. Home. Two of seven. So it is now reading. Use left and right to move between items. Okay, see, so it is now reading. And up here on the main menu, it now has a green square which highlights everything on the screen. So as I showed you earlier in the earlier clips, that is uh, voice view. Uh, the Amazon, they, they don't call it voiceover. They don't call it talkback or anything like that. They call it voice view, and that's what it is. And uh, that's how you turn it on if you need it. So if you have low vision and you can't see your screen, or if you're like me and you cannot read anything from either there or way back there, and you don't want to have to be walking up to the TV the whole time, uh, this will be a great feature for you, for people who are low visioned, you know, can't see the TV well. Um, it will actually read everything to you. Well, just about, not quite everything, but it will read mostly everything to you. Uh, this works with the Amazon applications, the Amazon Prime, and so on. Um, I'm not too sure if it'll work with Netflix because I have not. Vikings on recent. Your apps and game. I have not tested it with Netflix because I don't use Netflix on this device. I use Netflix on my Roku. Which, by the way, Roku does not have accessibility not that i know of but i am going into netflix right now but my account is not set up on this particular device on netflix sign up and sign in screen watch TV shows and okay one note that i do want to point out to you guys is that if you are side loading apps such as cody or any other terrarium tv or anything like that the voiceover will not work with those apps okay it will read some things but it's not going to read out the movie selections such as terrarium tv it will say column one, row two, and so on, but it's not going to work with everything or any side-loaded apps. I just wanted to put that in for you guys. Okay. Okay. So, um, it might, it might give you voiceover on Netflix. Uh, like I say, you know, but I would have to actually log in and try it. But judging from what I see, I'm, I'm assuming that it does. So you guys can try this on your own. But anyway, that's how you get the voice view set up on the Amazon Fire Stick, which is the audio voiceover for, for Fire Stick. And it's a great accessibility feature for low-visioned 
or people who just can't see the TV very well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope this tutorial is helpful for you guys. You guys take care and have a nice day and have a nice upcoming holiday 2017. If you're watching this video after the holidays, well, because this tutorial is going to stay up anyway. So uh, just have a nice great day and enjoy voice view on the Amazon Fire Stick. Sam the Blue Tech Guy with another great video tip. I'll see you guys later.